short, you know. I can't. I got your feet. Let me just, I, I just trust me to hold you, okay? I don't trust you with anything, Dad. I know you don't. It's sad. <laughs> Here he comes. He sees it. The pelican. Ah! I'm going to fall. I got you. You're not going to fall. Let him jump. Get, get it as far down as you can. Don't be afraid. afraid. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's too funny. Been that close? They're way down there. Oh God, I just got some Look at what That's Annabelle just caught. That's a good one. That's bigger than You just caught dinner. I caught. I've caught one before, but it was like the size of its tail. Yeah, well, that's why we come out to the shipwrecks way out here. No. <laughs> there you go. That's all right. That was going to happen. That was El Charco. That, how did that feel? That was that was quite the fish to pull on. <laughs> really heavy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no Alright guys, we're going to do introductions here. We've been so busy fishing. This is Ellie. Found her in the parking lot. <laughs> Annabelle. Jen. That's mom. That's mom. <laughs> Michaela. Dave. And these are our friends from New York. They just wanted to go have dinner and I said, how about we go watch the sunset and catch some fish. And we've been here for a few minutes, and we've done that. that Did you just hit me in the butt with a fish? <laughs> <laughs> so is that your first big shark or whatever that you've ever had? You ate dad first? And well, except for the ones on the beach. We've caught sharks off the beach. Oh, that's fun. We want to do a video of the beach. Shark fishing on the beach. Have you caught them here or just up in the Anna Marie area? We caught a couple oh. here last year, but the weather was terrible. It was really rough. Do you yeah, do you remember what kind they were? Uh, Mine was a black lemon. tips and uh, shark nose. Nice. All right, Dad got a little grunt. What do you think you got? A little grunt. Bigger, bigger grunt. You win. You get off on you go. We've been getting sharks, so we're gonna we're gonna try to. Uh, Teach somebody a lesson here. Whoa. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh boy. Let's find out what's going on. Oh, Michaela's got what you got, oh, kiddo. I just got sharks. Oh no! Not too much, Elle. I know I did it. Here. Don't let go. Here. Yeah, you got, got a shark. <laughs> this is oh not happening. <laughs> wow. Alley. She's actually got a shot at. Oh. oh. I got a 30 pound. I forgot you only had a 30 pound. Oh, <laughs> nice, Porgy. So. You gotta tell us this story. I, 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 unfortunately, your grandpa passed away, what, two weeks ago? Is that right? I think almost three. Almost three, okay. And, but you and your dad went hunting the other day, didn't you? Uh huh. Deer hunting. And uh, why don't you tell us the story? Whose gun were you using, first of all? My grandpa's. And what happened? We were sitting for about an hour and it was about to, dump rain on us so it was getting dark yeah. quicker. Yep, absolutely. And then all of a sudden mommy looks she was sitting behind me and mommy looks over and there's this giant um, buck standing probably about 50 yards a little off to my left and I didn't see it because there was a tree in the way so it was really windy so she could just pretty much talk to me like normal and then I turned back and looked at her and her eyes were like really big. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> and 
she was pointing like this and I looked and I just about peed my pants. <laughs> it scared me so bad and I was so excited. And it was really windy, so he kind of looked away and I was able to turn myself to get around the tree that was in the way. And within probably five seconds, I shot him. He was probably about 35, 40 yards at this point. I shot him right in the neck and he fell in his tracks. Boom! Grandpa was with you, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's special. awesome. Yeah. Very special. I'm going to show you guys a picture of that. It's already, I think it's up there. Too cool. Here, I can grab it, Daddy. It's already. Go, buddy. That's a Goliath. That's a Goliath. That's him, buddy. Wow. That's insane, isn't it? Wow. It's all right. I don't think you, I think you're holding them. That if you break the rod, you break the rod. That's okay. The dra drag is perfect. Is he scoping? All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna kill the trolling motor. Deep, deep break. Oh. Broke. Wow. Is that power? Wow. Can you explain that? I mean, really, there's. It's like someone drove by in a jet ski and hooked up to my rod. <laughs> and look. Oh, man. In the midst of that. How beautiful is that? What do I have? Nice. That's the biggest one today. Look at that, though, guys. Don't blink because it'll be gone. Look at that. Perfect. I can grab it. I just saw it. No, where is it? Come down here to the light, honey. You want to net her, sis? Got him. Good job, kiddo. Take off on you, so make sure you grab his tail. Two hands with the, the grip, that's fine. Good job, kiddo. Awesome. Yeah, head first. Give him a head start. So that was the first smoke you ever caught? Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Stunned. Who fillets fish in the oh, kitchen? Ah. This guy. All right, we're gonna do some garlic butter here for this recipe. Good job filleting all the fish, Dave. You act like you've done this before. He's like, I'm used to doing buckets full of bluegills and I'm like, I remember those days. So you work for basically the equivalent of the FWC, right? Uh, so I work for the Department of Environmental Conservation in New York State. Uh, I work for the Bureau of Fisheries. I'm a fisheries technician, so I get to do all the fun stuff outside, hands-on, capturing fish and analyzing data that I can hand over to the biologists and they can make decisions for management. So important, but very cool because he was telling me you were catching sturgeon. And explain that, you were saying you gill met them, correct? Do a lot of work with lake sturgeon. They're one of our special concern species in New York. Uh, their anatomy, they, their gill plate does not cover their gills all the way. So we can catch them in a gill net. And even though they can't move, they can still ventilate so they don't die. And we can get our important information and release them unharmed. Yeah, they, they took a hit back when the water was a lot more polluted, yeah. right? In the yeah. 70s. Water quality put a big hit 80s. on those fish. Correct. Kind of like the Cuyahoga River that caught on fire in Cleveland. Do you guys have the zebra mussels up there yet? Oh yeah. Uh, We've had them 15 years. Uh, they've gone through their cycle. We've had the brown gobies. They've kind of peaked and gone back off. Fortunately, we haven't had any other seriously major invasives yet. But time. I'm telling you, Florida, everything lives down here. So what's the biggest sturgeon you've ever held? Uh, 160, 170. <laughs> the guy I was working with is 6'4", six, 6'5", six, laid down next to it and they were even. 
So is that something we could actually go up there and find and catch and let go, or how does that work? Because Are you allowed to target them or no? No, oh, because okay. they're a threatened, concerned species. Gotcha. You're not legally allowed to target them. Uh, folks do catch them when they're fishing carp and catfish and such, and you know, take a picture and let it go on harm. They're bottom feeders? Yeah, opportunistic. They're eating anything from mussels to dead fish to crayfish to anything else they can fit in their That's mouth. That's awesome. A lot of people are catching them because they've recovered so well the last 20 So do you years. think at some point you guys will have a season for them? I hope so. That would be amazing. Uh, I imagine it'll be You're going to call me, right, when you I open it? Yeah. <laughs> I imagine it'll be a catch and release circle hook kind of sure. thing. Sure. But I'm hoping in my career there will be a limited season. How long have you been there? I've been there since 2001 with the department, 2007 in the position I'm in now. Wow, that is amazing. It's, it, it is a... Uh, it's a must-have kind of a thing with FWC and all that, you know, the Michigan DNR. I mean, people are always, oh, they're the bad guys. They're always out to get us, but it is a necessity. And if you're not doing something wrong, then you don't have anything to worry about. Mm -hmm. But they would, will you guys just do us a favor and keep the rules all the same <laughs> so we don't have to research it every time I go out on the boat? Yeah. It's crazy. It changes a lot. Well, there we go. Okay, you guys have never had stuffed mushrooms before, huh? No, no sir. sir. All right, well, I told you these, this is act real clam sauce that we made with real clams, so should be pretty good. The last ones they we just good. ate, they were pretty good. They didn't <laughs> last long. So we're just gonna throw a little bit of salt and pepper on this, guys. Butter is probably not the healthiest thing. It's its own food group. It's its own food group, she says. <laughs> well, we'll see. It's probably 15 to 20 minutes. They're thin fillets, so that won't take too long. I'm going to send that to your math teacher. <laughs> he literally is missing his entire week. Are you guys ready to try this stuff or what? Sure. You already ate the salad. There's literally nothing left but lettuce. Girls? <laughs> All right. Well, there's a pepper. I'm going to say grace real quick. Our Father in heaven, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you do for us. And uh, we thank you for all of our many blessings. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It never goes off at the right time, does it? All right, guys, dig in. It's just simple. You know, quick and easy, 15, 20 minutes in the oven. That's the big mangrove you caught. Okay, I can, I can accept that. You've had mangrove before, right? No? We haven't caught any legal ones until now. Yeah, they're hard to find in shore. Excellent. Do you like it? It's good. Now you said you had COVID not how long ago? A uh, year and a month. She still can't taste anything. That would be horrible, or smell. That would be horrible. So it's just like a texture thing for you now, huh? Yeah. And that's not good for no. a lot of things. So, I'm not supposed to say this, but I'm gonna sit her back hurts and her arms are sore. <laughs> These guys have been subscribers since the beginning almost. How did you find us again? How did... We just got back from visiting Anna Maria. We were interested in learning how to fish it better. Up one of the first ones, and we felt connected to your family, the way you acted and carried yourself, and spoke, and it just touched our hearts, and we've been blessed ever since. That's awesome. And this one wouldn't leave us alone until we reached out and and said hi. <laughs> That's great, and it's been we have new friends now, big Christian people that are raising their kids right. I'm sure you can tell. This one's a little bit crazy, <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> but, anyways, guys, that's what we got. So, I guess we're going to see you in the next one.